Hey everybody and greetings from the Direct Tech Labs office room here. Quick question for you, have you ever thought about why uh, the churn rate or the attrition rate in direct selling in the direct selling industry is as high as it is? Um, most of us know that we have probably one of the highest churn rates of a lot of industries out there. But have we really asked ourselves the question why? Why is that? Why do other industries that often sell the same products and services that we sell have lower rates of churn than we do? Now, I know that they're dealing mostly with customers, but guess what? So are we, right? 80% of the people that buy from us are actually just customers. They're never really gonna sell anything to anyone. We all know that now, and if, if only finding it out over the last year or two. So if all this being true, then why is churn really such a problem? Well, the question could be, what are these other companies, other brands outside of direct selling doing that is getting their churn rates to go down and down while ours are at best flat, if not looking like they're getting higher? Well, look at the quality of the experience that, that these brands are starting to give people. Right? Amazon is something we talk about all the time. They're responsible for almost 50% of all online sales in the United States now. What are they doing? Well, the answer is, is they're really taking the time and the effort to understand the individual that is in front of them and do their best to create an experience for that individual that is based on who that individual is and what that individual wants from their brand, not what they want from that individual. I'm sure Amazon would love it if every single person that landed on Amazon.com spent $1,000 every single time they landed on Amazon.com. But that's not what they try to make everyone do. But in direct selling, it's quite different. In a lot of companies, what we do is we really work on giving people an idea of how much they could get rather than what is their capacity or what is it that they came in really expecting. Sometimes we make the, ex the mistake of setting an expectation for them that's too high for them, or at least too high for them right now. And a lot of times our training material and everything is built on this idea of ranking up and leveling up, even though most people never really make it past level two or maybe three, right? As soon as you get past level three or four in your company, you're looking at low double digits or maybe even single percent digits of people that actually make it that far. Yet the communication is go that far, go that far. You can get there, you can get there right? When we know that most of them will never do so. So what if you landed on Amazon and they were like, let's spend a thousand dollars today. What can we do to spend a thousand bucks? Here's a bunch of stuff that's worth a thousand dollars. Buy it, buy it, buy it. You'd be like, dude, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm out. And you leave, you go somewhere else. You wouldn't buy from Amazon anymore. But no, what Amazon does is they say, well, what's this person going to buy? And what can we do for this individual based on their threshold to maybe just give them that little bit of stretch today, just from, yeah, from here to there? Right? And more often times than not, they're pretty successful at it. And so us as direct selling companies, how do we do this? Well, the good news is, is the answer is already there. The key to treating all these people like individuals for who they really are is already there. It's already in your data. It's just a matter of you finding out what's in there, using it to get those insights from them, and then turning those insights into operational systems that you can test and prove and work. So think about that. How do we meet our people where they are versus trying to make as many of them who we wish they would be? As always, I welcome your comments and suggestions, and thanks as always for listening. Take care.